On this episode, I get my very first unboxing from The Cubicle. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, so uh, this is kind of odd. I ordered a Kilo Minx from the cubicle and I ended up getting a Chi Yi Ki Hang Mega Minx. So um, this is definitely going back and I'm going to be getting my Kilo Minx. Uh, but for now, might as well do an unboxing and kind of do a review on it since I have it. Uh, I, I certainly don't have this puzzle yet. I have a different one by Chi Yi and I love it. So I don't really care to replace it unless this one is just mind blowing. Um, but either way, I like the colors. You know, the other one, I just enjoy the look of the puzzle, you know, and uh, to give you a frame of reference, it looks kind of like this. So I just love, like, I don't know. I, I like this puzzle a lot. I love the divots that it has in here. Uh, this one does not have that. This one is stickerless. This one has stickers. So again, it's just not the kind of puzzle I'm really into. But again, we'll do a review on it. All right, so where were we? So going into this puzzle, so again, I like the, I like the look, you know, very vivid, very defined looking colors. You know, the other puzzle, the issue I did have with it, if there was any, was the uh, the look of this beigey tan color and the white uh, look very similar. So it was kind of hard to to determine on the fly. So this one is fairly defined, like it's pretty obvious what color is what. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get into first turns. All right, so. I, I'm not gonna lie, it feels pretty good. Um, <clears throat> slightly grainy, but I think that's just, you know, kind of taking it out of the packaging and, you know, it needs some uh, cube lube. Um, it has these little divots in here. I can't, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, that it kind of, it, it's not magnetic, but it kind of like, it's like it locks it into place, like whenever I do a turn. So it's not. I don't think it's the functionality of it because there's not a locking piece to it, but um, it's kind of got this locking hole part to it. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I can see it when I pull the pieces apart here. Uh, corner cutting, not really a, an, an option here, I guess. Uh, not that you're gonna ever need to, but I don't know. Yeah, corner cutting, not so much. Maybe, maybe barely, but. This is not a puzzle that I would say is good for corner cutting, nor should that be an issue because again, you know, unless you're gonna be speed solving the Mega Minx, um, then just buy a, a much better one. But again, I was expecting a Kilo Minx, got a Mega Minx instead. So again, I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, so with that said, I'm not gonna put much effort into this, this uh, unboxing because again, this one isn't what I wanted. But again, you know, the pros from it, nice colors, I like the colors. Um, I'm not really super impressed with the turns on it. It is very grainy, like I said before. I think it needs to be kind of worked through. Um, but it, it doesn't feel like it, it It does like full complete turns when I'm you know, making, making turns. And it's really hard to corner cut. So that makes it hard. So that basically everything needs to be aligned before you make another move. Like for instance, right there. So like I just moved it in place and I barely had it up and it's hard. It's like it's locked. So I have to make sure everything is lined up before I can make a single turn. So again, take it for what it is. If you, um, if you love it, uh, I'll keep a link in the description for it. But again, I'm planning on getting my Kilo Minx instead. So. That said, let's go ahead and move on. All right, on to our next puzzle here. Uh, we have a cube style windmill cube. Um, this is my first windmill cube, so I'm kind of excited to get into this puzzle. Um, it looks like it's got the, you know, it's a stickerless cube, obviously. It's got the pink variant. It's a lot of the classic three by three mod. So, you know, there's your, obviously there's your three by three, and like that, here's your, you know, your center is your little top cross there bottom you know three on each side one two three so again it should solve similarly to a three by three kind of a shape shifting 
mod of the 3x3. Three three. So, um, so solving it, it would be, uh, I guess, kind of like a mirror cube. Um, I've never solved one of these, so it shouldn't take me too long to get it completely solved and put out a video on how to do that. Um, I do like the colors, very vivid. I'm finding a trend here. I really like these like vivid looking colors. I'm not really impressed with the yellow. Uh, it's kind of mustardy, but I love like the green. I love that lime. I love that bright orange. I love that kind of that baby blue. I love the pink, the white, <laughs> it's white. But it's yellow though. It stands out, but I wish it was a little bit more neon. Um, but I guess I'll get used to it. But with that said, um, let's go ahead and get into some first turns. All right, so going right into it, uh, looks like we have, uh, hmm. It's fairly grainy. It turns pretty easily. It's not like, it, it isn't like it's difficult to turn. Um, I, can, I can look right into it and I can see that, you know, it's basically just plastic on plastic. Um, so it could probably use a little bit of lube uh, just to make it, you know, turn a little bit nicer. But it's not really needed out of the box. Um, again, it, it turns fairly well. Um, I'm not going to do a solve on camera because, again, I've never solved one, so I don't want to spend, you know, five minutes kind of fiddling around with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and scramble it up because I, mean, I am going to, um, I am going to solve it off camera and bring back kind of a, a tutorial on this or kind of a walkthrough. But yeah, it's. It's nice. Again, it shapeshifts pretty well. I also like these shape-shifting cubes. You know, these are these are fun. They look different. People see them like obviously I know it's a three by three, but you know when I show somebody this puzzle, they're like, "How would you ever solve this thing?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, I don't know, but it, I'll give it a whirl." <laughs> you know, and so um, obviously I'm going to have to like, you know, make sure that the direction of these centers are in place. Cool part about this puzzle it looks like is that these top and bottom centers um, are never going to be kind of in the wrong direction. So I'll have to worry about these four um, centers right here, uh, as well as obviously these other pieces. But uh, this one, this should not take me too long to solve. Uh, with that said, um, I do like, the, I like the turns. It turns well, given the fact that this is only a $5.99 puzzle. Um, I did get it at the cubicle, and yeah, I don't know, it, it does feel nice to kind of like crack my first uh, cubicle purchase, even though I've been getting things on Amazon and wasting those gift cards on puzzles. So due to popular demand, I'm getting, uh, getting into the um, cubicle realm. I think I'm going to check out Speed Cube Shop next, um, just to kind of get, you know, try a few other shops out there and, and see what's going on. Um, but yeah. So with that said, cool puzzle, should be fun to solve. It's something different I don't have currently. Um, if you do want to purchase this puzzle on your own, um, I will have a link in the description for this puzzle as well. And uh, yeah, have fun. Thank you again for watching. I hope this video gave you some insights as to uh, what kind of puzzles you want. You know, obviously I unbox a Mega Minx. You've seen plenty of those on my, my channel so far. And uh, this new windmill cube, our puzzle so uh, hopefully I've given you some information that you can take back you know and if you decide hey six bucks is worth it I'll give it a check out again I will drop a link in the description for these puzzles uh, if you haven't already hit subscribe I really appreciate it, it helps this channel grow uh, also hit like and comment if you feel so inclined uh, comment especially you know different puzzles you'd like to see I really do want to thank everyone out there I just surpassed the 10,000 view mark so that's a huge milestone for me um, I know when I started this channel four months ago, I would have never expected to, to have uh, seen it hit 10,000 views. I mean, this is a Rubik's Cube channel. I didn't really think this was like a giant market. I just do this because I enjoy it. Um, I love you know putting out content and putting out videos and just trying new ways to kind of convey a message or show something. So w whether that's through tutorials or unboxings or through some kind of comedy piece, um, just finding more innovative ways to kind of distribute that information and show you kind of a little sneak peek into my head and how my head works um, is fun. So with that said, uh, thank you very much and uh, happy Cuba.